pretty happy just running this back, but with Scrib Ranger, which is a pretty, pretty big one to miss out on. Um, just trying to see where we want to go. So we want the Scrib. You could definitely try it. Definitely. Yeah, this is uh, what Mark's been playing around with but a little bit different. Um, did we get the Ignoble Hierarch? There it is. It is blasphemy to cut the fourth knight, but I think we have enough three drops in Clothus, uh, Ramanap, the two quests, uh, the two um, endurance as well. That I feel like obviously knight is a great card in Maverick, but for all the good matchups that knight's good against, the deck's got a favorable matchup anyway. So I've never been like, oh, I wish I drew more knights. <laughs> it's usually like, okay, we got the one, and that was it. But yeah, not having that, uh, not having that Scrib Ranger in game one against Blue Red Delver was pretty. A brutal way to find out you don't have Scrib Ranger. Join game. Come on. On the play, okay. team all right um i don't mind this very like combo centric but we have the uh ending which is nice pony kept seven not too bad that's actually a really nice draw. We can take this stop off for now. Basic. Yeah, basic planes. Ending this. And then Tega? I think Tega's gonna be okay here. I wonder if they have like Lotus Petal or Ancient Tomb? They do have Ancient Tomb, okay. Uh, Wasteland here would be pretty insane. Probably rather just hold up Endurance here than play the library, but it's close. No, I think I do like playing library. Library and Gadok Teague. 
really depends what Galactique turns on and off. I guess like if they're playing Thought Cast, this doesn't give away too much, but I assume they're going to be a blue deck. If I was thinking about Force of Will, I should have played the Galactique first. Ah, uh, that's just stupid. Really rough. Just a really, yeah, not a great play. Knight would be a 4-4, but it does start getting bigger, which is nice. I don't think I do anything here. I think I just take this, go to three, and then next turn Endurance should be able to help me double block with the Galactique to kill both and then put the Knight in front of the other one. Like a Swords of Plowshares here would be perfect. Or a Shadow Spear. That doesn't do it, but we can cast it. And then we can get this Knight up to seven. I guess we have Caracas for it, but still. What if we do this and then we wasteland a seat, uh, which turns this into a 7-7 seven, seven and a 6-6, six, six, so then they can't kill both of these. But then they still have this big boy. of the reliquary first. They could put the spear on the flyer unless we hit the seat right now. I could also how do how do they assign damage? What happens? So they have to assign lethal? Is there a world where I should wasteland myself here? to keep the knight alive? Is that a thing? Put knight up to a 7-7? Seven, seven? Like, does this show you how much damage they assign? But 
We're definitely getting wasteland. That's that's step one. But I'm not sure if there's a world here. If I should wasteland myself and keep. Yeah, I think that actually isn't too bad. I think this works out the way I want it to work out. Yeah, then Shadow Spear and Life Link beats. Oh, they can still kill the knight? Well, then I should have just taken out the seat. Mm. Um, a fetch only gives me plus two, but Wasteland myself gives me plus three. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, that, that's that's my mistake. Because then we would have had the swords and maybe got back into this with three mana. That's tough. I think I just have to pass here with swords open, unfortunately. I mean, I have to kill a Psy as well. It's a, it's a terrible spot. I should have definitely known better. Yeah. That's on me. Um, okay. I like the Pyroblasts. I like the Deafening Silences. I like the Chokes. I don't like the Chokes. I like the force of vigors in the night. I don't think we need surgical. Um, Clothis too slow. Okay, okay, okay. Gadok T can most likely come out. It really stops us from ending in green suns, which really sucks. Ragavan is interesting, but probably not where we want to be. Uh, Ramanap's great. Endurance is great. Force. QB is fine against the size. Um, our own retro isn't that great. Shadow Soul Guard I can probably get rid of as well. Maybe one library. There we go. That looks that looks pretty good. That looks like a pretty nice little little deck. Yeah, P Fire isn't that great, but even just keeping some of their one like some of their little things off the off the board isn't too bad. It does kill our Thought Monitor. Which I believe is a 2-2. Two -two? I think to, uh, just Ragavan against this deck where they have like a lot of 1-1s one through Psy. Um, I think Emery is a... Is Emery a 1-2 or a 1-3? I think Emery's a 1-2 actually. But um, Ragavan's been pretty good. I mean, it, it definitely won us against Ant. We were able to steal a, an LED, a Lotus Petal, and then a Wish Claw Talisman to go and get Collector Oof so they couldn't use their own Wish Claw once it got back to them. Pretty cool. Alright. Love to play first. Uh, this hand is pretty good. We have the force, which is nice. We have turn two, turn one deafening silence as well. Just gonna go for a savannah here. I'm gonna see what I draw first, because if I draw like Collector Oof, then I just wanna play that. Green Suns. Green Suns is pretty nice as well because it allows us to ramp a bit. I probably just want Birds of Paradise, because it gives me access to also just holding up red. Yeah. 
every color. And I think here in upkeep, we just take out this saga and the foundry. Pitching the screws. They have the force, that's gonna be okay. They pitch a sigh, which is fine. Kind of like just getting back. Going for Ragavan here, get back a land so we can Questing Beast next turn. But obviously, Construct here with um, Retrofitter is pretty broken. Should have fetched, but we didn't, but that's fine. If they want to name Winter of Heath, that's not the worst. They named Wasteland. Smart choice. Another saga, rough. Christstone, sure. <laughs> Gonna get dried up. I think you do block here, because then you just give the four, then I just trade anyway. But again, Saga hit is so strong. To have the force for the force was the, the big one. Okay, we get a blocker. Get a free attack and then we can hold up endurance. Hey, Runcor. Yeah, Ravenous Panda's got it there. So if you get it in draw step, it gets an ETB counter. And then once you go to your main phase, it triggers again, because it triggers every main phase, which is kind of cool. Just the one attack. Put in Endurance. I kind of want to put this Force back in my deck. And I'm going to do this now before I block so the Dried Arbor doesn't get lost. What's this matchup been like? It's pretty tough. We are, uh, we have Force of Vigor, but that's definitely not fast enough. Um, I think you definitely need something like Seeds of Innocence for this matchup or Kataki, um, because even Oof doesn't really do much. The, the Saga starts are just really strong. So 
definitely a uh, an uphill battle. But for, for Maverick, most go wide strategies are. the other yeah just way too much value I think we have to get pretty lucky with like a wasteland start We're doing nothing. We're playing a dried up or each turn and just passing back. I guess we get a free attack here kind of with the Ramanap, but they could double block and then we lose it and yeah. They also get back the bauble each turn with Emery. TV shows. Uh, Witcher Season 2, getting into that. Um, Rewatched Friends from College, probably one of my favorite TV shows on Netflix. Uh, Superstore was actually pretty funny. Uh, I really like Superstore. Um, and then just rewatches. So, like The Office, of course, Parks and Rec, like the classics. Um, there's some cool ones out that I actually want to see that are based in the US, but I'm sure I can get my hands on them. Uh, I think it's called Yellow Jackets which is about like a, a female soccer team that are going onto the finals and their plane crashes in like the F French Alps or somewhere. Uh, and it's kind of like a live and it's kind of split between them surviving for 12 months in the wilderness and then like 20 years on and what happens. Yeah, Sedai, that's a really good point. I mean, even if they lose one of their thought monitors, they can replay it with Emery and just start drawing two. Very cool. But yeah, eight cast, you really need a Haymaker against, like Seed of Innocence or Kataki. Um, some of this Kataki isn't even that great. I think it's really the Seeds of Innocence, but haven't got to the point of really wanting to play it. I haven't played against eight cast too much that I feel the need to have a card like that in it which is is pretty narrow there is some draw towards other other decks like death and taxes but <laughs> yeah the office uk obviously the uh the original is very cringe but like like a funny cringe um some of the jokes like when he's dancing ugh but uh yeah the office is a a classic that i think i'll be re-watching for a few few years Fringe type of cringe, exactly. I do want to watch Wheel of Time. I've heard a lot about that, and friends of mine who have read the books, which I believe is like 15 or something. HC Fox with the eyes. It is Tycho. Awake. Uh, Eclipse. And another one. Very nice. Yeah, Tycho is... Tycho is my favorite artist by, by far. I wish I could just play Tycho while I streamed, but obviously uh, copyright would get me. But yeah, Tycho. Big fan.
All right. Let's get on the winning board. Let's 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 get on the board here. Um, Sand is fine. Pretty good. Plateau retro. I actually don't mind going uh, basic here. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? We can try to learn from our mistakes. So let's uh let's see if this this works out. We do have the sword for Emery, which is nice. New jabs? I've definitely heard of that uh that name before. Okay, that's not too bad either. This means we can Swords the Emery the next turn Green Suns for Oof. Bonobo? Ah, uh, yeah, Bonobo Kong is one of my favorites. Shadow Spear is fine. Do they have a Mox Opal? That makes me think they have a Mox Opal. They see Sylvan Library, that's fine. Oh, they... Oh... Let's go for... Savannah. See if this Green Suns can kick it. Oh my gosh. So good. Definitely making this big so we don't misclick. I mean, like, Saga here is still okay. Saga into Ancient Tomb is probably the, the first thing out of this. So we'll play library and then have the second for endurance. I don't think we need it, but getting this oof down turn one is pretty nice. Now we can try to dig for a um a wasteland with Sylvan Library. Map's okay. Hmm. Ragavan's actually pretty interesting. I can also copy their saga. I don't mind that. Put on top, but pay for the rag, and then we can, um... I guess rag doesn't do too much, because we can't use the treasures anyway. But I am going to pay for it, just to... Actually, I'm going to pay for both of these. Because I'm not under any extreme pressure, and I do want to dig for, for um, Wasteland. Maybe I don't even want to show that I'm on Ragavan. I am going to take it out anyway, so... It doesn't really matter. I guess I might as well cast it with dash. Just get in that extra two damage. I could have cast the thought cast? No. Yeah, I, I could have. But we didn't. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Do they have Ancient Tomb? They don't. Okay. Um, Alright. Rag out. Teague out. One library. Um, one fire. Deafening silence. Blast effects. Force. Night. 
retro. I don't mind Shadow Spear just in case we do need it. Clots can come out, just a bit too slow. I think this is okay. I don't think I need the Surgicals. Anyone in chat want to give me some, some insights into Surgical against 8-cast? You get to see Bonobo live. For GD, you've seen them twice. Very cool. Amon Tobin. Okay. Definitely butchered that name, but I'll definitely check out Amon Tobin. I'm going to see how this goes. This is 60, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I don't like Surgical either. Uh, this is probably okay. We have Swords and Force of Vigor up. And three mana with Knight, so it's pretty cool. I probably want to be a little bit patient with the Force as well and try to hit, you know, key pieces rather than just hitting the first two artifacts that come into play. Accelerant, Forest. I'm just going to lead on Windsurf because then we can hold up Sword. Seat. Bowl's fine. Still don't care about these enough. We have the Scrib Ranger anyway for Thought Monitor. And the map represents Saga, so. Kinda hope they see Scrib Ranger. Yeah, Scrib Ranger has some pretty impeccable artwork. here before we draw just to take a land out of the deck um, and I think it's just gonna be Savannah green suns nice Slow start from our opponent, which is really favoured for us, which is pretty nice. They played a land which is interesting, because it means they can't uh, map this turn for Saga and play Saga. Size fine, because we have the swords for it. We do have Oof to wish for still, which is nice. Hmm. 
I'm probably still okay just taking this and just being patient. Green sunning for Collector Oof and then just holding up the Force still. Like drawing into like a manager key would be fantastic because then we can pitch that to the Force. Pretty happy to go down to a uh, 12 here, take the hit, untap, see what we draw. Bird, perfect. So we can pitch that to the force. Um, so I, I probably don't mind. I guess we could also just hard cast force. I think hardcast force is fine. I probably just want to do it in upkeep here though, so they can't have like force blue card. My only question is if they find Saga. Saga one counter, we untap, we play Knight. They get Saga, they get a pretty big dude. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to just see what they draw. Cause if we can hit a Saga, I'd be very happy. I'm happy to take this hit again. See if they play a Saga. No Saga. Okay. Just gonna hit the two creatures. Uh, it would be close. It would definitely be close. Stage. One, two, scrib. Attack for two. And then I, I will just play out a land here. I won't untap and return. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, I guess I could have not taken the hit there. And uh, forced. Nice. Well, nice to like lose 2-0 and then win 2-0 against a uh, 8-cast. But you can definitely see how even their like medium strength hands can just really pressure us pretty quickly. Yeah, Sage is pretty spicy, um, mainly because I didn't have the ticks for the extra Sagas with the Ragavans already in the deck. And I like that Stage kind of is a, a pseudo out against some of the Cloudpost decks and Depths decks playing Needle on Wasteland. 
because at least stage can top can copy dark depths and then hopefully get a 2020 out of it but yeah stage also copying urza saga knight is nice um and then with with our remin up you can get them back from the graveyard as well which is cool uh this is a sweet hand turn one ragger off i probably want to ragger off a uh plateau so i can ending if i want an ending but there's also a world where i just get taiga because uh taiga into saga is punishing fire um Uh, green white maverick sometimes plays the dark depths combo is just a one of um but some some players are a little bit more greedy than others and play dark depths in uh as just a one and one of dark depths and that's been sage in their three or four color maverick builds uh this is very much mark's deck and strategy i just tweaked it a little bit because i didn't have the full ticks for the full set of sagas and the full set of ragavans and a few other things all right opponent goes to six so the question here is, um, do I want to go for Taiga or do I want to go for Plateau? And I'm just trying to think, if they play a creature um, and we get Taiga, we can play a land, Punishing Fire at attack. If they do something else, like a Retrofit Foundry, we do have the ending. And then we can cast it anyway after Ragavan Treasure. So I, I don't think it matters. Hey, Imo. I think I'm just going to go for a green source because that turns on all our green sun zeniths if we draw into it. This, sh this sh should be good enough. Verdant. Badlands. Oof. Yikes. Big yikes. Oh, but a pass back. Oh, an oof. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, that's actually pretty perfect. Can we hit a, a reanimate spell? That would be sick. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we are not casting that. But what we can do is uh, sack this for a green, sack this for a green, play oof, which takes out their Lotus Petal. And then we can wasteland them. Okay, we got a plan. We got a plan. I do miss Huntmaster. I did want to find room for Huntmaster, believe me. Please be another faceless looting. No. Come on now, this isn't good. Um, okay. You got me. They get back Crystal Brand, which is interesting. I guess they think they can draw into another way to get back the Archon as well. Yeah, I didn't mind Oko in the... I mean, yeah, if we can untap in Punishing Fire, I'd be very happy. Ah, uh, really? Let's see what they take. Yeah, Archon's just too good. Oh, they took the Clothis. Interesting. And then Thought sees me again. Take the ending. Okay. Will they go down to two? Will they see the line? I guess we just pass. Do 
do I recommend this? Uh, I would recommend uh, Mark's version, so uh, Stress Daddy, which you can find in the Maverick Discord. There is a Maverick Discord. There should be a exclamation point Discord as well. Um, Reanimator. Okay. Uh, I like the. I like taking out the punching fires. Um, the T can come out. The Ramanap can come out. The Clothis is just way too slow. Um, the questing beast is also a bit too slow. The, sh the foundry is too slow. I don't mind force of vigor just because of uh, animate dead in this circumstance. I do like surgical. I do like the blast effects or the um, deafening silences. This is probably a pretty good position. Link for the Maverick Discord. I got you. I got you, fam. Um, Legacy Maverick. Uh, invite people. There you go. There is the Maverick Discord. I think this is okay. You are more than welcome. No. Hmm. Uh, no green source. Uh, no white source, which is tough. But we do have the endurance. Knight's kind of nice because it also gives us access to um, uh, Caracas. I don't want a green suns there because I want a green suns for a white source in uh, in one of the other uh, mana dorks. All right, looting before uh, like thoughtsies or anything is pretty good for us. Uh, I would recommend the uh, the Strassman version. Um, I can let this resolve, and then I guess I they take a card before it gets there, right? Uh, it's in the Discord. If you go and search in the Maverick Discord and look under Punishing Maverick and enter deck lists, you'll find it. I think I have to endurance right now. because they stack their triggers correctly. Guess they get green suns here. Uh, yeah, there is a depths one as well. Uh, if you go to the legacy subreddit, you can find a list of all uh, Discord servers. Rough. It's pretty good. I guess it's a slow clock, but it's still a pretty good clock. Should have played the Grove because the Savannah is unknown information. At least we have three mana, which can cast a lot of the things in our deck. Yikes. 
tough. Can't do too much there. <laughs> and we are pretty low on um on graveyard hate with just the two surgicals and two endurances, so maybe I should have mulligan to a hand with deafening silence to really slow them down. But you live and you learn. But yeah, the, uh, the Depths and Maverick uh, Discords are both really active, which is really nice. Um, top deck player is fine, but like they would have been drawing 14 cards. So I don't think there's anything to, uh, to get out of that game, unfortunately. Um, I'll keep this. Turn one rag, and then we do have Green Suns for a bullet down the line, which is nice. Oh, they were at seven. Probably could have, but I think the, uh, I thought it might've been a little bit, a little bit over by then. Just gonna go for a plateau to turn on all my colors. Gonna attack first. Nothing. Hopefully we see oh, Rider Flame? Huh. Do I want a Green Suns for Gatotig here? If I'm seeing Rider of Flame, I kind of want to go for Gatotig, right? Most likely Tess. Mountain. Is this like a Ruby Storm with a blue? Songs of Creation. I can't play it because of the, the Gaddock Teague, which is probably a good thing for everyone involved. Um, I, I don't mind getting Knight down here. And start wastelanding my opponent as well, just to really apply some, some good pressure. But Songs of Creation is a shenanigans card. Still nothing. I guess this kind of means that I also get to attack 
this turn with another reliquary, which is pretty nice. I actually shouldn't have played the Liberator first. I should have uh, attacked and then seen what we hit with the Ragavan. But this is a two turn clock. Misty. Yeah, pretty happy just to pass here with uh, Retrofitter up. Interesting. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. When you cast a spell, draw two cards. At the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. Okay. So most likely taking out the swords here, um, the punishing fires, the scrib ranger, a library, the retrofitter, shadow spear, bringing in the blast effects, the silences, the force of figures, the, the surgicals, even just to get a better look at their hand. Raminap's probably a little bit overkill and Clothis is probably a bit slow. I'd rather have something like Choke that just actually interacts with their islands as well. Just more cards that do something. I know that Mr. Lee played a Songs of Creation deck the other day. Again, just one of those... We've probably had about four opening hands with just the, the one lander and it being a, a no-colored land, which might be on me. It might be on my mana base, but I, I don't think it's too bad. You know, 23 lands. And we do have the uh, the extras here. Hey Julian, welcome. So hey, we are going to mulligan this. And I'll definitely keep this. Turn one death. I think it's just knight here. Knight is uh, essentially my, my win condition in this hand, but green suns can find it, so. I'm also happy to keep three lands just in case we don't draw into one and, you know, keep the choke. Okay. Ponder. It's gonna be a keep. That's pretty nice. Right, I'm just gonna go for plain deafening silence here. They have a force, interesting, dress down. Okay, interesting. Down to four cards, which isn't too bad. Another island would be nice. Looks like they're just going to try to get something out. What's their last card? Burning Wish. Are they going to try to... Three mana. Jeskai's Will, perhaps? Empty the Wounds. Okay. That's beatable, which is nice. Is it? Maybe not. Have to get I, I have to get a green source. I don't think we have anything. I think we might as well just concede. Because we definitely take ten and then we can block one. Yeah. Because we don't have anything like a, a batter scale to get us back into it. Uh let's just run this back. Love to play first. Uh, this hand's pretty good. <laughs> this hand's got a lot of interaction. It's also got Ignoble Hierarch for the red, which is pretty sweet.
I think next turn it's just going to be they chose to not shuffle. Cool. Uh, Collector Oof, hold up blast, and then choke, hold up blast. Uh, if we draw a land, that is. I think I might uh, surgical on their end step to have a look at what's there. Because there's a world where I surgical now, they have no ponder in hand, but then like draw force for turn. They also did nothing there. I am going to see what's going on. This is more about looking at their hand than actually taking ponders. Echoing Truth, Petal Petal Song. Okay, that's pretty good for us. Let's actually have a look at this deck. So, uh, we see in a braid, four Burning Wish, two Dress Down, Grape Shot, Gut Shot, Gut Shot, Rite of Flames, Wild Cantor, Song of Creations, Wish. Interesting. And then we know their hand as well. So let's just put this up here and just take a quick snip to always have it. So land here would be perfect because now we have the, the uh, the Pyroblast for Echoing Truth. But now I'm pretty happy just to attack with Collector Oof, play Ooze, and then blast the, uh, the Echoing Truth. This is quite nice because it still keeps some pressure going as well. So they're obviously going to try to blast uh, Echoing Truth here. We can blast. I feel like that happened on Mengu's stream just then as well. How like you click, but it goes to the desktop, which is weird. I am still going to play the choke here because if I draw into like a Knight of the Reliquary, I obviously want to play that next turn. But they're getting pretty close to playing the Songs of Creation, which is kind of tough because then they can just draw two off each Lotus Petal that they play. already played a land no they haven't played a land for turn so maybe there's a world where I should uh, surgical wild cantor in case they draw into one they have right of flame wild cantor It's not like Surgical is going to hit anything else any better.
They also have a pretty high chance of drawing into a fetch land. So there's a world where we could like respond to the fetch so that if they drew a wild cantor for turn. The lotus petals can't be can't be uh sacked, which is nice. I'm gonna respond to this by hitting the wild cantors. Gut shot, song, song, dress down. Oh, I guess dress, I guess dress down does beat, uh, oof. Yeah, I think that's probably the play, MTG Hordog. That's a really good one. I think it was just to let the Echoing Truth resolve and then hit the songs, because we had full uh, knowledge about that as well. Tough. And that's definitely just on me just for not really thinking it through. <laughs> Probably a good sign for us that they're forcing their own brainstorm just to dig a little bit deeper and just get that storm count going, I guess. But yeah, unfortunately, fortunately the surgicals just didn't really, like they're not the hate that we wanted. Probably the hate that we deserve. Yeah, we shall do it. Rough. Yeah, definitely pyroing the Song of Creation was the play. I think it's just a, a kind of tunnel vision uh, mistake from me, where I knew they had the lotus petals, and I was like, "Oh, sweet! This uh, collector Uf is turning off the lotus petals." But that's not what—that's not what I should be caring about. It should be the song of creation. So, <laughs> far from a philosopher, but uh, if you want to listen to my 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 gospel, you are more than welcome to. Tough. I'm not sure if Mark was playing a um a Yavimaya. Because three sagas in the deck with Wasteland is, is pretty intense. I mean we're playing six colorless sources, and a lot of our opening hands have been mulligans because they haven't had colored sources. So having a Yeah, seven or eight is is pretty huge. But very cool to see, yeah, Mark playing this. He's been playing this for ages. Um, obviously a bit of a different build, but uh, yeah, doing really well with it, which is really cool to see. All right, last match for the night, last match before, last match of 2021. Um, I, I, I don't mind it. Turn one Ragavan, we have Gadok Teague for, for combo. Rest of 2021, I'll be away, in fact. Delva. Second rag. Away in Perth. No, just going to see family and then going to the coast for uh, New Year's.
Bolt's pretty good. That's pretty nice. So we get to take Bolt. Gut shot, jeez. Um, all right. Savannah. Swords. Rag. Not too scared of Murktide because we do have the green suns for Scrib Ranger, which is quite nice. No Wasteland is interesting. Why would you do it now? I think you should do it in your turn, especially in a format with crop rotation. It's just a pretty easy win. Roof doesn't do a whole lot here. Um, probably happy just to build out the mana. I could also just play the Oof. And then play Green Suns later on. Song. Uh, it is Carousel by Harris Heller. If you look up Stream Beats on Spotify and look for their um, lo-fi playlist, you'll find the song Carousel in there. Sadly, not much we can do here. Retrofit of Foundry dead to the oof. I have not listened to All India Radio, which does sound interesting. Chose to not shuffle. Okay. Yeah, it's tough. Um, I'm not too sure. I could see a lot of things getting getting removed. I can also see a lot of things that are just don't really make Delver all that worse. Like you, you ban one thing, that is fill it with another. Yeah, really tough. I don't think we have an out because we have to draw a white source and a, and a swords. Chokes, pyros. That's probably it. Oof. Uh, Outland, Teague, one library. Hmm. Yeah, it's tough. Um, Days is one of those weird cards where I just I just feel like Days is legacy. Like that's just legacy power level. Le 
I, I don't play Days decks, but Legacy Without Days isn't a format that I really want to play. Yeah, Legacy Without Days is really strange. I like the mind games of like, do they have days? Should I play around days? I think it's going to be Beast. A little bit too big. And just a card I don't want in my opening, opening hand or, or first few turns. I like the one library just because the games get a, hopefully a little bit slower post board. So being able to recoup some of that loss is pretty nice. this can fetch straight away as well off a Tager um, to try to get this knight online and big as soon as possible and then having a grove with punishing fire is pretty nice I mean, they could really shake up the format and add a um, restricted list. That would be pretty interesting. I'm less scared about days if days is only a one of in a deck. I think if they bolt the dried arbor here, I'm gonna play the grove into library because I don't want to lose my only white source if they have a wasteland. That have to be like, like bolt days away. Some would be pretty tough. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now I feel really ahead, and knight's gonna be coming down as a four four, which is pretty nice. This is actually an interesting one because I, I don't really want to use the swords on the Ragavan. I would much rather punishing fire it. What do I want to do here? I think I want to pay four so I can dig a little bit more and probably just put the choke on top. But I'm also at a weird stage where I don't, I kind of don't want to wasteland the, the Volk. Maybe that is the plan, just to try to keep him off Merktide that way. I guess this is the punishment for not playing Grove last turn and playing the Plains. Is that we can't go Punishing Fire and Wasteland this turn. But to be fair, if I can Swords and Wasteland, I'd be pretty happy. So let's go put on top, pay for this. I'm going to Swords You Monkey, and then I'm going to Wasteland You, and then I'm going to attack you, and you were going to take it. turn we get to choke around days which is pretty nice I would love to see uh, 
Iteration here. Iteration is probably the best card that we can see. Ragavan Dash isn't the worst. We know there's a land on top, I believe. Yeah, Saga. Could find Pyroblast here, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, put this on top. <laughs> okay. changing niente niente yeah it would be would be nice to to finish two three which means we would have gone six six five five tonight which is, is probably where I feel like Maverick is in the format. Like a 50-50 deck. Um, no. Okay. Especially off a basic. Probably just got to bottom the retrofitter here. I would, I would say this is still Maverick. It's just playing Rav Ragavans instead of like Mother Runes. Delva, sure. Ragavan, speaking of. Um, okay. We are playing Script Ranger in this version, so. Uh, planes, and then Prismatic this. Really just want to try to clear the board as much as possible early on. Days is fine. Another days. Okay. Wasteland here would be pretty cool. Green Suns. I don't mind throwing Saga into a Wasteland. And also just playing it around days a little bit. Rag dash? No, ponder. Maybe I should be swordsing in their in their attack phase instead. I'm not really scared of like spell pierce. So I think that's probably better. No shuff, another Delva. Okay. a sword. Probably more happy just to get a 1-1 uh, a, a one -one here. I 
They're gonna brainstorm. That's fine. I think we still know about the days, but I... I do want to build my manor out. cards nothing night I'm gonna start with Ragavan because it allows us to hopefully get a treasure which will, which allows us to play around days. It sticks. If it eats a bolt, I wouldn't be too unhappy. I think I will uh, swords here. I won't play around days anymore. I don't really have that luxury, especially with only one planes. because we can't actually get a, a white source now. I thought we what I thought for a second we could return the planes but we can't. Hmm. <laughs> actually does sound a lot like him.
terrible. Come on. Untap script return Tega, play Tega, eat Ragavan. Um, not good enough. Tough. Maybe it was just being a little bit too slow on those swords to plowshares. Tough. But sadly, yeah. Definitely, definitely having a lot more fun on the depths versions of the decks that I'm playing. But it was really fun to play this. Um, a, a few... A fair few openers that just weren't really there. So the mulligans really affected us to really stay in control with some of these decks that just have so much value. But um, overall, I really liked it. I mean, the, the Ragavans are solid. Um, and in the right matchups can, can really help you get a, get along pretty quickly because you'll still be able to cast a three drop on turn two, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, really cool to see. And really cool to see that obviously Mark knows the deck a lot better than I do and is doing very well with it. So that's uh that's pretty sweet but uh that's gonna be me it is nearly nearly midnight uh i'm off to bed and you guys are welcome it's been real it's been crazy i mean like seven streams in 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 two days is is pretty yeah pretty broken but uh going to have a nice break now hope you guys do as well uh and i'll be back most likely after New Year's. There might be a day where I'm back between Christmas and New Year's. But, uh, yeah. Until then, uh, if you want to find out where I am, you can find me on YouTube right here and also Twitter. And of course, if you aren't following me on Twitch and like this content, definitely consider following me on Twitch, which is absolutely free. Uh, let's see who else is actually playing and see if I can send you guys over somewhere. Hmm. Hey rats, too kind, too kind. I know that Canister is playing some vintage, I believe. So I'm gonna send you guys there. Enjoy, be well, and uh, we will see you soon. Thanks guys, thanks for 